So Alex Megos out onto the stage, first man to on-site a 9A route outside, <laughs> enjoying the applause of the crowd. Such a big character in climbing, Alex Megos. I'm sure inadvertently standing on a bolt, he would have been uh, much higher up in the rankings in the semi-final as well. So he's first out. If he puts in a very, very strong performance, that doesn't necessarily mean the route setters have undercooked the route. He's such a strong climber and he's really learning how to compete as well. A couple of bad crimps and a bit of a move out into this black volume. Yeah, apart from that slip, he's looked pretty much in cruise control, Alex. Nice for him, I'd imagine, to get, a, get the moves in, uh, get a minute or two into the route, get a few moves under your belt, really relax. Try, if you can, to forget about the crowd looking on, just concentrate on what you're doing on the wall. Uh, speaking of bolts, there's one right in between his legs there. He'll have to be careful not to touch it. Oh, and there's a wince from um, both of us there. That is a very difficult position to hang on to, kind of doing the splits whilst also spinning uh, your left leg sideways, dropping that knee inwards. Brutal position. Yeah, so he's actually managed to cheat the sequence a little bit there. Magos is looking pretty good here because there's a really tricky little undercut section that he's managed to completely avoid. There was talk of feet first to get into this position, but that box splits that he's just done has uh, managed to get him out of it. And now he's really fighting Alex, has to go up dynamically with the right hand. And again, go up with the right hand dynamically. You can just see from the look on his face how hard he's having to work, cuts loose but does well to hang on to it calmly and quickly places that toe hook in place and gets himself composed again. Couple of moves where things looked in the balance there uh, for Alex Megos. He's such a strong climber out early. Two minutes 15 left on the clock for him. Choosing to chalk up, it's not really a rest, but if you can really push hard on that left foot and hook hard with the right toe, you can just get enough weight off that you know, I suppose you can get something on the arms. Yeah, the angle change has really worked in his favour there and he really does like toe hook, so that rest does actually look quite comfortable for him. And to fight quite hard through that midsection, it's that classic thing where you're struggling, you have to put the power down, you have to climb really fast and just sprint to the next rest. Alex now gets that into an underclean, reaches up with the right hand. Crowd really getting behind him here. Root setters might be getting slightly nervous, but then you've got to remember that the first climber out is Alex Megos. He on at 9A and was the first person to ever do so, and then feet slip just as he tries to get on top of the black volume. And we said climbing means a lot to him. Just look at that reaction. He was going so well there, Alex. Looked like he was getting pumped. Looked like he managed to get some energy back and then the feet just slipped trying to get on top of that black volume. What a podium that is. Well, you have to say, Charlie, looking at that podium, this has been a real root climbers competition. There's no sort of like uh, ringers from the bouldering scene really in there. Obviously, you've got bouldering winners there, but you would say traditionally that is three very, very good rock climbers indoors and out uh, on the lead who have got on the podium and a great, great show.